Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, it's been a rough week. Um, Mary and Barbara passing, and you know, it's crazy because watching these guys and seeing them as our heroes and thinking of them as, as, as undestructible or invincible, excuse me. And then seeing what happens after the lights go off. You know, most pro football players played Little League, high school, and college, and, of course, into the NFL. The only thing they've known is always being a football player. And many of them aren't prepared for life afterwards. So many are um, unemployed, bankrupt, divorced, and don't know which direction they're going. Because unfortunately, you've always had the spotlight, the focus, and everything on you, and then the lights go down, and the people aren't there before. And add to that being damaged because of football. There's no way that you could look at Marion Barber and say that his style of play didn't contribute to his problems after football. The 10 years after playing football for the Dallas Cowboys and Chicago Bears was definitely rough for him. His family has decided they're not going to uh, have his brain dissected for CTE and things. They want to honor his wishes and such. Um, this was a video. Shout out to my son, Michael, who shared this with me. Um, this was a video, the last video of him before his passing. Um, let, let's play the clip and, and then we'll talk about it. Happens and, you know, we don't really realize as drivers what we're doing sometimes in the crosswalks when other people are coming. Are you the driver to back up for the person? You know, I look at myself like that and I'm sure anyone else who's law uh, by a citizen to the next citizen. All right, so I asked you earlier upstairs, are you guilty? And you said immediately no. Do you stick to that? Yeah, of course. Just like Ms. Clark was saying, um, it was just a simple incident. And I'm sure anyone who's been a runner or a biker, you get these incidences. This is my first incident, but this is an incident where someone blew it out of proportion because and then they, I heard that they knew of whom I was. So it just got taken out of proportion even more. And one, right. one thing uh, that okay, I want to say... Wait, hold on, can we just hang, hold that thought? Because people are asking in the comments, you know, is he in trouble again in the news? No, this is from 2020 or 2018. 2018. From this is, this is the same incident, y'all, that TMZ put with his mug shot from 20 freaking 18, okay? Say, so I this say, is 2022. You know about this, you, you, you can't judge a book by a cover. Um, right. Don't believe everything you hear. You know, I was accused of some things in the church that I didn't do. They sent me to a mental institute. And then read me my. That's okay. It's all good. We'll it's all good. He's just sharing that uh, there well, was a second saying. incident with a church. Well, so Go ahead. Jennifer. Basically, at the end of the day, our main goal is to protect our black men. Right. Um, so I know you guys have a lot of. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll end it there. Um, tragically, his birthday is actually the tenth, and um, his sister was supposed to be getting married on that same day. They were going to be doing a dual. Um, celebration the police were called for a wellness check and unfortunately he had passed not that day but several days his body had begun to decompose as they said and that the shower was left running they're trying to rule out what may have happened there's no word exactly what he actually died from uh, there's no suspected foul play or anything like that as far as what was being reported this morning and this is really sad not only for NFL players but in a whole we have mental health issues that go without people being able to get help for their problems the warning signs are all around us, but most of the time we just ignore them or just accept, man, that guy's just crazy, you know? And this is a travesty for something like this to go on and happen and to lose somebody who we cheered for 
on Sundays. And if you can be a fan and cheer for these guys on Sundays, we should be there for them after football career is over. Too many of my heroes have just not been able to cope. I remember being young, the Pittsburgh Steelers had with Terry Bradshaw being a black man, of course, I was always a Cowboy fan, but Joe Gilliam. Joe Gilliam was actually fighting out for the starting role against Terry Bradshaw, being one of the first black quarterbacks there. Joe Gilliam ended up dying homeless on the streets in Atlanta. And when you hear stories about guys that have been big, that we know, I don't know how we can just sit back and just... Oh, well, not my problem. Marion Barber, I hope you get some peace now after the lights have gone off and after what you've been through. We thank you, and that does not seem like enough for what you gave for our excitement and our joy. We appreciate what you did, and we are sorry, or at least I am sorry. For the damage that it did to you and your quality of life. I'm Mark Holmes and I appreciate you guys watching and listening. And I will see you guys later.